All right, Alex, famous words. Moving right along. Moving right along. The pond is gonna approximately come out to this joint. And the new pond is gonna be home to these beauties right here. feature mocked up let's take a walk okay so the main part of the feature is set and glued all set up and it is nice and tight everything is glued down so what we did was we uh, kind of staged the bowls and did some caps to give our homeowner an idea of what it's going to look like when it's all finished and we've got some of the interior walls set up and our lights kind of mocked into position. What we've got on the wings of the, uh, the feature is a uh, filter system that she used prior in the old tanks. And she really likes the operation of those. So we're gonna put those back into action. And what we're gonna do is we'll have the plumbing coming up and over the cap. This is the wall piece that's the top of the pond. And this is gonna be the cap work. So what we'll do is we'll notch out some of these caps and put them right over the plumbing and we won't secure the caps down that's over that plumbing so it's easy to access that. Now that we've got the green light on the design of the interior and some of the operating components, you can see that gap in there. That's where our liner is gonna go up and over and then our caps are gonna secure that liner into place. So we're gonna tear all of this apart, clean up our surface and put that fabric and liner in and get to plumbing. We've got a Aquaforce 1000 pump in the center. That guy is going to operate our spill bowls. Now these bowls are also going to double as biological filtration. We're gonna load these up with gravel and biomedia and uh, plant that. So when they spill into the pond, they're also uh, providing that biological filtration along with some aeration. So we are in good shape. We got the green light. There's a green light. We've got the green light. Let's go. Things are getting really close. We have got our uh, other wing wall set for our pump to be housed in there. And that is what's going on over on this side. That plumbing is gonna get adjusted. The cap that's gonna go on right there is going to get notched out so that uh, plumbing can go right over and be nice and concealed. And this of course will get planted out like we showed you. And we have got our wiring all integrated within the uh, the walls. What we are gonna do is we, we planned for if there is gonna need to be any uh, light replacements, we're just gonna put a little bit of glue to hold these caps down. That way we can pop it loose uh, because it is just really tight fitting in this area. And I want it very streamlined to uh, show no components other than what uh, is down in the bottom that uh, we'll be able to do some rock work and hide. It'll be easy enough to uh, replace these lights um, if needed. 
All right, so what we've got going on here, you've seen it uh, going up. We have got our exterior wall, basically our skeleton, and that got all set up. And then we've got our fabric and liner uh, sandwiched in between the interior block wall. So it's kind of a cool look. I'm really excited about the way it looks. It's a very formal style of feature compared to what we are typically installing. What happens if you're wrong? with this beauty let's take a walk around and see what we did okay so i love the idea of this we have got an outdoor patio pond matched with patio bowls from aquascape these are actually patio pond bowls and we've got a 12 foot above ground pond so 12 feet wide five feet from front to back overall elevation from the floor to the top cap that's 28 inches so we've got about 20 22 inches of water depth and of course this is going to be home to some beautiful little fancy goldfish right here as soon as that pond clears up and water acclimates a little bit these little beauties are going to be relocated. Now, some of the bells and whistles that we have going on on this pond is we have the homeowner's uh, old filtration system installed right into these little wing wall bump outs. And what is in there is just an external pressure filter setup. And this is the uh, plumbing goes right through. We've got this, uh, this block is not glued down and that plumbing passes right through there nice and clean and we have the intake and the discharge mounted right down inside there so it's providing circulation and then of course we've got this lighting system we have a total of eight lights in this feature four of these external insert lights i love these this is going to look so cool at nighttime and then we have some lights going on in the pond. We have the Aquascape three watt spotlights and the one watt waterfall lights. Now what is gonna be really cool with this lighting effect at nighttime, you can already see just a little bit of water dancing around on the bottom of the bowl. That's exactly what I had envisioned. But what's gonna happen on the ceiling, this whole patio space is going to be illuminated dancing with light so i i cannot wait to come and see this at nighttime and then of course these bowls we have both of these bowls running off of an aquaforce 1000 pump it's ball valve to where we've got just enough flow providing ton of aeration in this pond for the size of it and also provides another opportunity of biological filtration. Now we have on this other side, uh, the other pressure filter along with pond heater and the transformer for the lighting system. So there's gonna be another heater installed on the other side. The 
The temporary housing has uh, one of the heaters in there and that will be installed once this pond is the permanent home for those fancy goldfish. All right, guys, so that's a wrap for us on this one. Let me know what you thought about that. What's your favorite part about this project? I cannot wait for the opportunity to do another one of these above ground ponds. This was a really fun project, so we'll see. I'll let you know what happens. Drop a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on that next video.